I think what, uh, what makes us unique or what we really try to uplift is our flexibility and really trying to help the residents identify their own passions and then work with them to get those goals, their specific goals met. And I really feel that we work hard to develop that sense of camaraderie. We're very clear that the residents are their primary support for each other. So the very first month we have them spend four weeks together. Some of it is to, to teach the things we have to teach, but a lot of it is intentional so that they develop those relationships and bonds because that's what's gonna carry them through. Our program is seven residents each year, first, second, and third year residents in what is called an unopposed residency. So there's no other residencies at Central Maine Medical Center, which creates a unique opportunity for our residents to really be the learners on campus, to take the benefit of the specialists who are here throughout our health network and system to, um, to get to some devoted attention. So I think it's a really unique opp opportunity for them. I had the ability to rotate through every hospital in Maine, some in New Hampshire. I'm from Northern New England and I, I wanted to stick around here, but uh, the program between the faculty, um, people who were working just kind of in the administration roles in the program, attendings throughout the hospital, and probably most importantly, uh, the residents that I had a chance to work with were exceptional. They were great teachers. They were really invested in kind of my learning and development as a medical student, and it's something that I thought I could really uh, benefit from by being a part of the residency program. On a weekly basis, we actually did just change our curriculum and kind of the way we set up our rotation. So we're now doing kind of two weeks of clinic and then two weeks of a rotation. Uh, I just finished my first two week rotation through clinic and now I'm on my two weeks of pediatric emergency department. Um, and I really liked it. It was um, nice to be in clinic for 10 days straight and really get in there, um, be able to know when you were going to be in clinic next to be able to follow up with your patients. So I think in that aspect it's changing a little bit from what it had been the last two years for um, the better for both um, our sake and then also the patient's sake, which is nice. Integrated medicine is one of the um, strengths of our program primarily because we integrate it at so many levels of the curriculum. And, um, you know, like I've mentioned before, we have the um, Integrated Medicine and Residency online modules, but it's incorporated into every aspect of training. Um, so, you know, we really teach integrative family medicine here. And, um, you know, eventually we'll just get rid of the word integrated medicine because it's just about practicing uh, good care. We definitely incorporate the interdisciplinary team um, quite a bit more than I've seen other places and you can see that evidence by of course me being here a pharmacist uh, that's not something I think a lot of other programs have a lot of access to um, I think it involves a lot more focus on kind of the full teaching aspect of the curriculum you know making sure that we have a little bit more to dive into the medications um, where you know the, the faculty is able to help with everything I'm here for a little bit more of specialized help. I really want applicants uh, coming to this program who show up on day one really committed to providing care for the underserved because I really do care about this community and I want all of the people who are here uh, to be uh, committed uh, to their health and well-being and it can be really challenging work uh, to work with an underserved population who has a lot of need but the flip side of that the payoff is that you get to be a part of the resiliency that uh, we see in our patients every single day. We also work with MAT patients, uh, substance use disorder. We have groups here for, uh, and residents get to learn and experience providing care uh, for that uh, particular need. So our, our vulnerable population uh, curriculum is a, a little bit broader than that. There's some other uh, populations included in that, but it is unique and it, it allows uh, residents to provide some unique care opportunities for our patients. One of the really fun and exciting things is that a lot of the residents who come here are interested in practicing in underserved communities and uh, with a rural population. We even have a rural track in our residency. So um, I think that's one of the ways that we're a little bit different than some of the other residencies in the area. So the rural track is in Rumford. Um, we have seven residents a year, five match with us in Lewiston, two match into the rural track. The first year is all in Lewiston um, with a few weeks in Rumford to kind of get a, a feel for it. 
but the second and third years are primarily uh, in Rumford um, at a critical access hospital. And there uh, the residents work with family doctors who do um, uh, inpatient and outpatient and obstetrics and the full scope of family medicine. Um, it's a smaller hospital, it's a smaller community, and the residents really get uh, embedded in, in that community and become integral to it. The strengths of our program, I think, really include a small, uh, a small close-knit residency program, and so the residents really gain a broad exposure to other specialties, including cardiology and GI. Our family medicine residency has unique selective and elective offerings that allows residents to really tailor their educational uh, experiences to what they want to do in their life and in their career after residency. Location for me was very important. This particular part of New England is beautiful and lovely and has a lot of patients that are truly in need and need our help. In the summer, we have kayaking, hiking, um, just walking outside, biking, uh, especially most of the residents who come here. One of the reasons they want to come here is because they love the main outdoors, so we've been really got to do that. Um, when I'm not pregnant, I like to ski and enjoy the winter sports, so hopefully um, we'll get some snow and COVID pending, get to enjoy some of the winter sports, as well as just the cooking, the local community events, um, easy access to Portland. Um, I really like to enjoy all those things. We have many, many resources. Um, some of those include the Hunger Vital Science Program, which is a food program where we get food bags in. I also provide resources around lots of other things, um, housing, transportation, fuel assistance, um, tobacco cessation. We will do referrals for mental health, case management, all uh, many, many other resources, you know, whatever a patient needs. We really all work as a team. Um, we really have some great um, folks that work here and we all really work together to provide the care. I don't think I've ever heard anybody here, I've been here a little over a year, I've never heard anybody here say, oh, that's not my job. That family sense, that sense of camaraderie, watching the residents interact with each other um, is very appealing and uh, people are drawn to that and want to be a part of that and, uh, and then they come and they get to um, take that magic and continue it. Welcome to the Family Medicine Residency Clinic. My name is Matt Lavasser. I'm a first year resident here in the program. Um, we serve a population of about 7,000 patients in the uh, central Maine area. It's a socioeconomically diverse population uh, which provides for a robust and rewarding um, educational experience. The clinic is really the heart of the program. While we do spend a lot of time next door over at the hospital, um, this is really where we learn the ins and outs of providing primary care for our patients. We have 16 exam rooms that form a loop around the clinic, two of which are larger and are designed with tables for osteopathic manipulative medicine. As a fully accredited patient-centered medical home, we actually have an on-site um, social worker, case manager, psychologist, clinical pharmacist, um, a laboratory for some point-of-care testing, as well as starting soon a physical therapist. Be sure to ask about our osteopathic recognition tract if that's something that interests you. It's available to both our DOs and MDs. There are two large procedure rooms in the clinic with an adjacent supply room. And uh, we're equipped to do several procedures here. We do everything ranging from uh, minor skin procedures to toenail excisions, joint aspiration and injection, uh, contraceptive procedures, and colposcopy. This is our on-site laboratory where we have the capability to perform urinalysis, pregnancy tests, rapid strep antigen testing, point of care hemoglobin A1C, and several other tests. Here in the center of the clinic is our large shared workspace. Many members of the healthcare team share this area, um, including RNs, medical assistants, resident physicians, and medical students, as well as attending physicians. This is the precepting area. Um, as a resident here, you'll always feel strongly supported by your clinical staff, while also still having some autonomy to develop your own assessments and plans for your patients. 
I'm Alex Tremis, and I'm a third year resident here at CMMC. Normally we would do this tour in person, but COVID had other plans, so let me show you around. There are lots of great things offered at CMMC. One of the best, Starbucks coffee. The only way to survive residency. Thank you. So we have lots of options here at the cafeteria. You can order a pre-made sandwich, pizza, or you can even custom make something if you want. Tim, can I have a turkey wrap actually, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. One of the great things about the program is that they load our ID badges with money so that we can use it towards lunch every day. So this is the medical staff lounge. This is actually where we spend a lot of time as residents when we're on inpatient rotations, just taking care of notes and consults and speaking to various other physicians that we work with on the day to day. So we've got a couple scrub machines on the various floors so you guys can come get your scrubs easily before you start a shift. This is one of our ORs. What's great is we all do a surgery rotation during residency. And um, since there are no other residency programs at CMMC, we're often first assists on various procedures in the OR. So this is M3. This is our labor and delivery floor here at CMMC. And we get to work with a great team of nurses and other doctors who take care of mom and baby first. This is T3. This is one of our telemetry monitoring floors. Our cardiac and stroke patients get admitted here when they come into the ER after warranting some further evaluation by our cardiologists. And we as residents get to work firsthand with the cardiology team to take care of those patients. We've got a closed unit ICU here at CMMC, but the residents get to work firsthand with the critical care docs to make sure our patients get the best care they need. So we've restructured our ER here at CMMC to make sure that we're complying with all the latest CDC recommendations and guidelines to take the best possible care of our COVID patients. The residents get to spend a lot of time down in the ER. We do multiple rotations in the emergency room. Some time is spent here in Lewiston, but we're also able to go up to our rural ED in Rumford and Bridgeton. As part of our ER rotation, we get to spend some time with EMS or with the Life Flight crew. You get to go on the helicopter and pick up patients who really need care in some of the rural parts of Maine. Thanks again for coming along with me, guys. I hope you got a good idea of what our program has to offer. We're looking forward to seeing you next year. Take care and stay safe.